enterprise to keep the message going. That after all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. We have to get a message somehow to Patricia that if and in all likelihood they will, leave their house, we'll say, to a, a son, that they have to do it five years before they go into a nursing home. What, Glendora? Well, I'm vague, and I'd like some help on this and some information. But, if you're going to leave property to somebody and not pay a nursing home, I believe you have to leave it 60 months, and that's five years, 12 into 60 is five, before you go into the nursing home, or the nursing home claims the property. Something like that. I will call Timothy Owen this morning, and he knows about that a little bit, because he was going to give his house to his daughter. And then he found out that that won't work unless he does it five years before he goes into a nursing home and his wife goes into a nursing home. Do you know? I told Patricia last night when she was helping me do the work, Pat, I, I love you for what you're doing here. What was she doing? She was sending the name of the TV show, station and the name of the operator, the public access operator of the TV station, and his telephone number for the drop boxes so that the Gary Black and Robert Jackson uh, can call the TV station and say, what is your address for your Dropbox? We will send you the program by Dropbox, which is so much easier for you than taking it by DVD. If that comes about, folks, that's nine TV stations. Nine TV stations. And they each get four programs every two months, every new cycle. For instance, the programs that were posted by U.S. Mail uh, last Friday, two days ago, uh, there was a program for week one of December, week two of December, week three of December, and week four of December, all of which were to be repeated in January. So if this comes about, this is nine stations times four programs for each station, then Wendy will only have to, that's 36, nine times four, uh, DVDs that Wendy will not have to make. No, that's a, a great saving. So I told Pat, I love you, Pat, for your doing this. It's been a long time coming. Thank you, Pat. And then she took a picture of the list of the TV station, the operator, and the telephone number, and emailed it to Robert Jackson, and emailed it to Gary Black in Buffalo. Gary Black, who has stepped forward and said that he will do the drop boxes. Robert Black. Uh, Robert Jackson, who has been so kind to assist Gary and help him do it. What are the TV stations? Number one, Boston. Glenn Williams, a sweetie pie, through and through. Number two, Hartford, Connecticut. Mary Taylor, another sweetie pie. Uh, three, Mount Vernon. 
That's Mr. Galasso and Michael Thompson, I believe. Number four, Groton, the two Franks and the dog. Groton, Connecticut, down where the submarine base is. Number five, Trenton, New Jersey. That's dear David Keenan. Six, Highland Park, Illinois, is just north of, and that's my sweet Victor. And number seven, Los Alamos. And dear Jean, we've been together since the year 2000, thanks to Lori Gale again, who told us about her. Number eight, Lauren Coulter, another gentleman and goodwill person, Portland, Oregon. And number nine is Paul Mateau, San Diego. And another one. Why, these people all seem to have the same personality pattern. Kind, efficient, helpful, caring, Paul Mateau, San Diego. Selfless, loving, believing in good, not bothering with the bad. Feeling and living the oneness of God and the allness of God and the goodness of God. Are they all vegan? I don't think any of them are. See if we can change that. We put an ad in the newspaper, a uh, room for rent, uh, exclusive use of the kitchen. I don't cook anymore. Uh, female. Uh, $500 a month because of the full use of the kitchen. It's like having an apartment, really. Where'd you put that ad? In the advertiser, our hometown shopping news. And we put an ad in Craigslist for offering an exciting job editing TV shows for 75 TV sh stations, Boston to San Diego. Uh, it must be good on the cell phone and on the laptop. Uh, afternoons and $200 when you finish the work. What is the work? You take the information off of this SD card that's in this glorious, beautiful, masterful JVC camcorder. And you put it onto a DVD over there with a DVD recorder, a Magnavox. You start it off with a you must start the character generator, the letters at the bottom of the screen that give you a double message, give you a chance to do two messages at the same time. And what is our message? When all is said and done, what? The only thing that matters what? Is how did you treat others? So the character generator, learn that, and then put on Wayne's theme song, A Chat with Glendora. 
a show for a living right. A chat with Glendora makes your day so bright. And then the, the message. And do that for 29 minutes. And then stop it. And do another one for 29 minutes. And do a third one for 29 minutes. And a fourth one for 29 minutes. Now you have a two hour show. And we have oh, about 12 TV stations that cable cast a chat with Glendora not only a half an hour a week but also two hours a week. Thank you Kenny Velez for giving us the times. Thank you Kenny Velez for expediting, facilitating, accomplishing a chat with Glendora and Newark TV. And you do that for four TV stations. That would be Charter out of Rochester sends the program to about 12 TV stations by uh, FileZilla. Uh, that would be LT's Cablevision, which sends the program to about 12 of its TV stations by way of Telecom Connect. To Robert Jackson, who sends out 15 TV shows to 15 TV stations, Comcast, Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, the great big ones, Springfield, San Francisco, San Jose, so That's the first job, editing the TV shows. The second job is the voicemail. The third job is apps. I do not think that we are employing Google more than 10% of what she can do. I think she can do another 90% miracles that we aren't even learning about. Uh, the next job is 30 telephone calls every day. I think we have a list of about 400 contacts. The next job is Madeline. On our second computer, we have a computer in Brainerd up the road here, and we have a laptop here. And then we have the cell phones. And then Madeline does the YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Reads the messages from that. And then the next job, applicant, who's applying for this job, is Think Folder. We have three Think Folders, and in those Think Folders are a list of things that have to be done. Some of them we don't have an answer for today, but we'll have an answer for maybe tomorrow or the next day. And the next job is the U.S. Mail. Answer that. The next job is the advertiser. We write an article for the advertiser every week. And we cut it out and we paste it and then we read it to you, the TV audience. And after the advertiser comes this. It's called Soul to Soul. Every day we communicate with you and try to help the universe and all others or help the universe who, who is all, which is all, and get the message out. No self, love, pure thought, God one, God all, God good, and veganism. What comes after that? We have to constantly watch DCTV. 
to live up to their requirements so they will cable cast our show. But that is in the able hands of Robert Jackson. And then the drop boxes, which I think we've just about consummated. And then after that is taking care of the museum. The Glendor Franklin Museum for the Preservation of the Pro Se Public Access Newspaper Record. And the mice have devastated some of that. We have to determine how much. But I think we're going to have a crew of Madeline and Dawn and Patricia and I'll ask Sandy and her husband Andrew. I'll ask Wendy, but I don't think it'll do any good, to go over to the museum and restore it and sweep it clean and not disturb the mice. We don't want the mice put out into the coal. We'll wait until next spring when the mice leave. Heaven knows what damage they will do, but we can't turn the mice out into this cold weather. Was it today, Google? What's, what's the temperature today? 38, I think. Hi, how can I help? Oh, what's the temperature today, Google? Google, what's the temperature, dear? I think she said 38. Oh, and then we'll use Pat's offer of $100 for Madeline. Give that to Madeline. And then Glendora will give $100 to Robert Jackson for the printer. I can go for that, can you? I think that's right. And then what's the next show? Errands. Uh, reading the World Book Encyclopedia. Reading... The Encyclopedia Britannica and Reading Compton's Encyclopedia. And I don't understand it. Here I am, 92 and a half years old, ready to leave this universe, and I still want to know everything I can about the universe and about God. I don't understand it. Why that drive should be there. But it's there, and the reason is a good one, even though you don't know what it is. And then what else is there? Uh, the Veterans Administration, something about a survivor's widow's benefit for Franklin, who served in the United States Army, the first army, from before Pearl Harbor, that would be along about August of 1941, all the way through to Victory in Europe Day, which was in June 2000, I mean 1945. Uh, and he was in D-Day. He was in D-Day all the time and went across France and into Belgium, marching toward Berlin. And then there's another benefit that when your dear sweet husband dies, you get the consolation of a gift from the Veterans Administration. So that has to be done. And a box in the closet in the hall has to be gone through that came over from the museum that Michael Dumont brought over and left us hanging. And the micro cassettes. They won't work. The tapes jam. They have to be labeled and put away because they are journals. And then this sweet brand new digital audio recorder, I have four of them and I can't make it work. I don't have the eyes to understand it so we have to have somebody teach us. Those are the details. And then the last thing are the challenges. 
Number one challenge, getting a good assistant. Number two challenge was the owners uh, insisting that Glendora have somebody with her all the time. That has been accomplished, and we're working on it. We have a few more slots to fill. The third challenge, return the eyesight. Get rid of the deterioration of the right leg, which is making walking almost impossible. Trying to do that through Christian science. And Glendora is not doing it right. Uh, the um, fourth challenge is, I told you about the phone. I call Meg at the Autumn Albany Public Library. She and others give courses in cell phone operation. See, she can do it over the phone. But that will take another assistant because we have to be able to read the apps. The la uh, fifth, number five challenge is county burial, where the county will pay the $1,250 for Glendora's direct cremation because Glendora will not be leaving any money available. And then, number six, is the renewals for Cablevision Rockland County, Cablevision Norwalk, Connecticut, and Fairfield County, Greenwich, and all those beautiful places. And uh, Norwalk. Who's the other one? Oh, yeah. Torrington, Connecticut. Litchfield. And the seventh one is moving all the stuff out of the bedroom into here to make the room available for the sentinel who's going to stay with Glendora Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, all night long. And the ninth one is restoring the museum. Those are the jobs, folks, if you would like it. Very interesting, very exciting, very valuable, very important. Start now, folks. Just before five, the sun sets, and it's dark. And then we'll get dark at 4.30, then we'll get dark at 4.25, then we'll get dark at 4.20, then 4.15, I think. And then the earth is back from its trip around the sun and starts out again at 8.30 a.m., December the 21st, Monday, 2020. Folks, should we adjourn all this that you just heard until the virus is over? We have people coming in here. We wear masks. Wendy won't wear a mask. That's no good. The people don't come in and wash their hands and face in hot water. And so, shall we adjourn until the virus is mastered? Tell me. What's a Bible passage? Uh, Philippians 2, 3, I think. Chapter 2, verse 3. Have that mind in us that was in Christ Jesus. And we can. And the hymn is Amazing Grace. Would you sing it, please? And the word, oh, this word. Admirable. Qualities that excite wonder. United with approbation. And deserving the utmost esteem. I know one who does that. I know somebody who does that. Who fits that description. God. 
loving others. And give G.C. Merriam, Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, the credit for such a beautiful definition. Oh, they certainly know how to write definitions. They choose those words so beautifully and just make you adore the English language. And then, how's your jokes? Where's your jokes? Doctor, doctor, I have a ringing in my ears. Doctor, don't answer it. Doctor, I have bad news and very bad news. Well, what's the bad news, the patient asked. You have two days to live. The bad news, very bad news, is that I forgot to tell you yesterday. Doctor, there's nothing I can do for your disease. It's hereditary. Patient, send the bill to my father. A man called the hospital and said, I'm inquiring as to the condition of James Parsons. And the nurse says, well, Mr. Parsons uh, had a good night's sleep. He's resting comfortably today, and tomorrow we think he'll be discharged. Who's calling? And the man says, James Parsons, the doctor doesn't tell me anything. Doctor to patient, you had a close call there. It was only your strong constitution that pulled you through. Hey, Doc, would you remember that when you make out the bill? Okay, this is a chat with Glendora, and we are one, and we've taken a vow to each other that we try to make each other 100% loving. Come now, all happiness. Helping the world we go. Caring and cheering. Helping all glorious through all victorious. Gone is the selfishness. Ego is out. And the prayer. It's be the God of peace himself. Sanctify all of us completely through and through. And we're on our way. The time is 10.15.